If there was ever a video game created for gambling, it's this one, Steeplechase on the Atari 2600. This is an old school text label Atari 2600 cartridge that works with the paddle controllers, surprisingly. The cool thing about that is, in addition to the paddle controllers being the best Atari 2600 controllers, they come in pairs, so you can play a four-player game in Steeplechase. You can almost smell the cigars and see the cash being thrown onto the coffee table. Why punish real horses or even leave the house when you can gamble in the comfort of your own home on your Atari 2600? And it's a lot of fun. Steeplechase is actually a pretty cool game, and it's tough. This game is harder than it looks. One of the best features in Steeplechase is that the horses have names. This gives them personality, which gives the game more depth. The top horse is Little Dictator, followed by Just Missed, and the third aisle is Absent Mind, and at the very bottom is Lucky Devil. I'm playing as Absent Mind. There's six different settings. You have six different modes of gameplay. There's six different modes of gameplay, and you can just pick up the game and play a two-player game whenever. Mode 1 and 4 are extremely easy. Those are the ones to definitely start out on. The obstacles come in more regular intervals in the first three modes. During the review, I'm playing mode 2 or 4, where the opponents will give you a run for your money. Cheesy pun intended. This game is all about timing. You adjust the height of your jumping with the paddle controller, so you have full analog control, which is nice. If you come up to a smaller obstacle, you want to jump as low as possible and make it over, which will keep your horse moving the fastest. When you run up to that giant thing that looks like an oil drum, you then want to jump as high as possible to just clear the thing. The timing has to be absolutely precise, and you really want to play a perfect race, which is tough. So, so challenging the computer at first is frustrating, because easy is too easy and medium's too hard. Playing friends is probably the best way to play this game, but steeplechase is, is surprisingly addictive. It's super cheap, you can find this one out there anywhere from 10 cents to a dollar, and definitely worth checking out if you're looking for a good Atari 2600 game. Especially one that you can play with three of your friends and use the paddle controllers. It's like warlords in that respect. Four players playing Atari together can get vicious. The only way that this game could be better is if the horse exploded when you ran into things. Oh, by the way, that last race I think was uneasy. I must have changed difficulty settings to make myself feel better after losing so many races and losing so much money. Absent Mind owes me big time. This is such a game of precision. Those of you who like side-scrolling platformers where you have to jump with precise timing will love this game. I'm usually terrible at those games, so it's no wonder I'm god-awful at this one. Steeplechase. Easy to find, cheap to buy. It's a must-play for the Atari 2600 for those of you who are fans of games with the paddle controllers.